Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a brand new Rails 4.1 feature called Enum. So before we dig into what an enum is and what it would be used for, let me just first explain what it is. So if you're familiar with state machines, enums are very, very similar to state machines. So in, in the state machine, you have a field, uh, probably going to be a text field, and uh, you would put some text in there that would represent the state of an object, right? So if you're not familiar with a state machine, let me explain it to you with an example. So over here, I have a list of posts. Now, if I go back into the code, I'm going to look at this uh, code over here that's basically calling out all the posts from the database. Now, what if I want to have a feature in my blog where I can have posts that are being drafted and posts that are be that have already been published, right? So a state machine allows me to do that. Let me give you another example. For example, if you have a hotel booking software, right, where people can make reservations online, imagine that you have basically a bunch of reservations. Now, how are you going to group which reservations uh, you should look at? Well, you're not going to care much about reservations that have been canceled, right? Because they've been canceled. Nobody needs to pay any attention to them. But you need to be able to segregate reservations that are important, which is reservations that are confirmed. So basically, state machines allow us to separate or maintain the state to understand the state of an object, right? So give me, let me give you another example. So a car can have many states. When you buy a car, a car is either just totally switched off or it can be started but sitting idle or it's running, right? Or it could also go in reverse. So a car has many states. So that's another way of looking at it. All right, so now that we understand state machines and how states work, now we can get into enum. So the special thing about enum is you're not going to be using a string field. You're going to be using a integer field, right? So the first thing we need to do is I'm going to go into the terminal and I'm going to do a Rails G migration, add status to posts. So it's going to be an integer field. All right, so now we have the migration. I'm going to head over to the code check out the db migrate and here we go so we, now we have the post status integer i'm going to add a default value here zero and that's pretty much all we need to do with the, with the migration now i'm going to head over back to the i'm going to actually go to the post model now and i'm going to actually put in the enum code so enum status and here we put an array so the the first state we're going to have for the post is going to be draft the second state is going to be published Now what happens when I do this, right? So once I've declared an enum in my model, I have these, um, these states at my expense now. I, so I can actually select an object in the database and I can check what state they're in. Now I set the default value to zero. Can you take a guess which state it's gonna be in by default? So when a, when a, record, gets up, uh, when a record gets created, so when, a, when we create a post, it's obviously gonna be draft because Based on this array, the zero element, the, the, uh, the element zero is draft. The, the element one is published, right? So let's take a look at that in the console for a sec. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to go to Rails console. And I'm just going to do post equals post dot first. All right. So I played with this already. Uh, so you'll see that this status here is published. So let me select another post, right? So post equals post.last. All right, so that's the draft one. So let's play around with this a little bit. So let me see, post.publish. So just by declaring that enum, I now have these extra methods that I can call on my object. How cool is that? So I can also switch um, object from one state to another, right? So for example, right now my post is draft is, is in draft mode. So I can switch to publish. So all I have to do is post.publish with an exclamation mark, bam. Now it's gonna do a database update. And if you check this out, you're gonna see that it's updated the status column with the number one. Because in our code, that's what the published state is. It's index number one. 
So we can also do something like post.status and it'll print out the name of the state that it's currently in. So that basically gives us a brief idea of, of working with enums in our Rails app. Now, what can we, what else can we do with this? So when we declare an enum, we also get class methods. So for example, if I go to the post controller, now I just wanna print out the published post. So what I can do is I can just say post, post dot publish, right? So now it's just gonna give me the published post. Now let's take a look at that. Once I hit reload, I'm just gonna see two posts now because these are the only two posts that are published in my blog. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, Enum is a pretty simple feature to play with. Uh, I think you guys should experiment with it, play with it. And I'm gonna link uh, to the documentation over here in the description below. I've also created a pull request on the GitHub repository, which I'm gonna link in the description below. So you guys can check out what I did. Before I go, I forgot to mention that there's another way of working with enums, which is you can use a hash instead of an array. So here we have a uh, enum status and I can just specify that the published has the state, use, is using the number one as a state and then draft is zero. So I can change this to one, two, three or whatever. So if you want to do that, you can do that with the hash. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel. It will really, really help us out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.